Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Bean and welcome to my channel and today it's time to take a look at one of the brand new units that just dropped on Global. Best of go there and seeing how good he can uh, be in PvP and uh, should be a good time interesting one as well. But the team I figured why not take him on the best one, one of the best ones for him currently, which is the full unknown team with Lolly Merlin, Amelia, Festival Goat there himself, and then Ram in the back. Basically Ram boosts every single unit on this team, including herself because of her passive, Ram's passive, increasing the basic stats of all unknown allies uh, by 20%, so that's really good. But Goat there, what can he do? Let's take a quick look. He's actually quite interesting. Um, but there he is, the boy himself, Hijack Goat there, Restored Emotions. Uh, his unique or his passive alter ego increases allies attack rate stats by 2% and max HP by 1% each time an ally uses a skill limit 10 times applies when entering battle so this is basically almost a uh, a less lesser version of green Gother passive in the regard that you get not as much attack rate stat increase green Gother passive at max is 35% attack rate stats uh, green this go there at max passive is only 20% however you have two benefits or two pluses versus the older, uh, the old go out there, green go out there. Um, you get max HP and max passive increase of 10%, so that's really good as well. And then also his passive doesn't need to be used with, uh, like for green go out there, you need to use different races. For him, you can use any unit you want with him. As long as uh, you use skills, you'll activate his passive. So that's really good. But his first card, what does it do? Armed Breaker. Uh, basically the same all around, so I'll just show you guys a level 3. Inflicts pulverized damage equal to 450% of attack on one enemy. If the hero's ultimate move gauge has 4 orbs or more, removes 1 orb from the enemy's ultimate move gauge. Pulverize a new effect, 20% additional damage for each orb and the hero's ultimate move gauge. Uh, basically almost detonate, but also pulverize has this extra effect down here, so that's why it's a new artifact. And his second card is a really good Jack Light for rank 1. Bronze, for one turn, disables buff skills of all enemies, it disables skills which are ranked 2 or higher, and decreases skill ranks at the end of the enemy's turn. This is really good against any buffer unit. Uh, currently in meta, Margaret is uh, really popular, one of the best units, but this really completely shuts her down. And then also Bond is a buffer as well. But Jack Light, rank 3 though, is really good. For two turns, disables all skills of all enemies except debuff skills, including ultimate moves. Disables skills which are ranked 2 or higher and decreases skill ranks at the end of the enemy's turn. Absolutely broken card. Hopefully we can try and get that. We have no rank up style. That's the only bad thing. His ultimate, unfortunately I only have him 2-6. Six, 6-6, six, six, six. it's a, a beast. But 2-6 uh, inflicts damage equal to 12% of hero's max HP on all enemies and deletes 3 skills from the pool of all enemy skills. Uh, delete randomly removes skills from the target excluding ultimate moves. Deletes ultimate moves if there is no skill to remove. At 6-6, uh, six, six, you delete the entire hand, by the way, and the increase is uh, damage multiplier of max HP. So his ultimate is based off max HP, the same as Bond's. However, he doesn't have the uh, maximum HP as Bond does, and Bond at 6-6 six, six has Rupture. This guy only has the delete cards. So yeah, Bond's ultimate is better, but in some situations, deleting all cards at 6 out of 6 can uh, work. But you do have to have the guy maxed out. But that's basically the team. Uh, hopefully we do well before we get started though if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe we're on the road to 3k subs also if you enjoyed today's video consider leaving a like let's see if we can try and smash 100 likes i'd really appreciate it uh but yeah, that's basically it hopefully we have a good time i'll start searching and i'll be back once i have the first real player and let's see how it goes all right looks like we have the first match here real player Ooh, interesting team to say the least festival gother margaret Ludosiel, the one eskinor and Droll. Interesting. Yeah, this is interesting. All right. Honestly, the annoying one here is probably Gother. I'm gonna lie because of his passive. Uh, so yeah, let's start working on him. I guess. We'll infect everyone so they can't rush ultimate. We will dissolve them. No, we'll infect them so they can't heal. We'll dissolve them so they can't rush ult, and then we'll hit them with a Gother card. We should be able to turn off quite a few cards. We'll turn off Margaret's buff card for sure, and then Droll's taunt. And uh, maybe, did we turn off Gother's debuff as well? No, it's only two of them, okay. That's fine. He can taunt me, and he also can buff himself, so that's good. He can remove my uh, debuff. Alright. Oh, I have another Gother card. That's really, really good. Uh, but that's really cool. You see here, uh, since it's the, uh, the Jack Light effect, they have like the Jack Light arrow in them. Well, that's actually kind of cool. Uh, but in my game, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I'm on official... Oh, that's annoying, you can turn me off. 
I'm on the official version of Grand Cross, PC version I should say, and it looks super smooth, super crisp, and it's so quick. And I actually love it, that's what I'm currently on, I don't know if you can tell the difference. Uh, but yeah, it looks fantastic on my end. Hopefully it looks fantastic on your end as well. Uh, but since he only had a level 1 of that, he only disables, I believe, it's uh, buff skills, yeah. Okay. And he does disable rank 2s, which is a bit annoying, not gonna lie. But... I'll, have, I'll do this anyways. I'll do this. I'll waste the Amelia card. And then I guess I'll attack into Gother. So we'll turn off his uh, buff card as well. Yeah, so three cards in hand. And if he were to merge something... Oh my god. I keep forgetting Gother's... Uh, Gother's increasing her attack related stats over time. As long as we use skills, that is. So I'll take a look at his passive. So Merlin is actually getting... Technically, if you think about it, green Gilther passive, she's going to hit even harder, especially because of her own passive. Uh, the much more HP she is, or the closer she is to max HP, much more increased her attack rate stats. Pair that up with Gilther's passive, uh, this hijack Gilther, green one, uh, you'll get an insane amount. So let's take a quick look um, this next turn. He has Ultra Feskin, which is a bit worrying, but I think we have enough damage. All right, so Gilther, how many stacks of his passive do we have? We have five. So that's an increase of, what is that, 10% to our attack rate stats and 5% to our HP. And uh, Merlin, what's she looking like? 11k? 11.5k? Alright. So here I'll do this. And I guess we'll go all out on Escanor. Maybe Gother can pull through? Come on, Gother. Surely. Pulverize. Nice, I think so. Let's go, dude. Yeah, see, look, since he had full gauge, we have the polarize effect, and we removed one ore from it, and we took away his ult. That's actually kind of good, dude. I mean, Gother... I mean, he's alright. He's alright. Uh, we have ult with him, but it'll probably petrify me, not gonna lie. Uh, I'm trying to see his ult, though. Because I'm only 2-6, but I'm trying to see the um, delete 3 skills from the pool of all enemy skills uh, from his ultimate effect. Um... But he's, yeah, he's probably buffing himself and then um, petrifying me, which is unfortunate, but it's fine. Yeah, petrify. Okay. Um, I don't want to get petrified again. So, wait, what's the Gother passive at? Eight stacks. We're almost close to the max. We just need to use two more skills, which we'll do this turn. We'll do this. We'll do this. And then uh, we'll freeze the droll. So if he wants to petrify me, which he can't because he doesn't have the cards, he would need to have a buff card and already a petrify merge to do that. But yeah, it's basically over. He only has Mervit cards. Please let me ult with Gother. I'm trying to see his damage, even though we're only 2-6. And also, since he increases max HP, he also increases his max damage output because, uh, again, if you forgot, his ultimate scales off max HP. So the much, or the greater his HP, greater the damage. I really hope he doesn't leave it though. I'm trying to see his ult. Um, we have Max go with their passive. So we increase our attack rate stats. No, he left. Yeah, we increase our attack rate stats by 20% currently. And then 10% max HP extra bonus because of both his passive. But there we go. Game one in the books. Unfortunately, he didn't let me ult. Uh, it's, it's fine. I'll be back though with uh, the ma next match. It appears that we have the next opponent. It's a Bond team actually. Oh, hold on. This might be bad, because Easton has cleanse. Oh, so, and yeah, there's that. Um, hmm. And I don't think we turn off recovery, right? Or do we? Sable's buff skills. It's, her cleanse is not a buff, right? Oh, well, we'll figure it out. We'll do this, we'll do this, and then uh, make it so Bond can't buff himself, I guess? I'm actually curious to see how many cards do we turn off. Probably just Bond, right? Oh, two. Do we turn off Easton's, uh... Is her cleanse a buff card? I'm pretty sure it is, right? That's actually good if it is. I'm, I think it is. Um... Yeah, see, look. He's trying to rush ult of Bond. Look at him. Alright. I will... Dissolve. Actually, no. We'll freeze him. I will infect 
and then I will do this. The reason I'm doing this is so I don't lose gauge, but also keep in mind, if he doesn't put up another taunt next turn with, um, what's his name? Is Arthur, I can't, even if he rushes ult, I can merge these cards with Gelther and then uh, hit him with Pulverize. So if he has max gauge, if he has more than four, so basically five gauges, I can take away an orb. So if he tries to do ult rush, which is probably what he's trying to do, that's what bomb players do just to get the win, they ult rush. Um, I can stop it as long as he can't get ult this turn and also put up a taunt. But I don't think he did. Yeah, he's buffing himself and then I'm assuming a swipe. Not that much damage. Okay, but now I can turn him off so he can buff himself. Uh, I can get ult with Goat there, actually. Which I think I will do. And then I also don't want Bond to um hmm. Yeah, I don't I'll just do some extra damage. I don't think we're gonna trigger the delete orb. Because he does this wait, he says four. Has four or more. Okay, yeah, so we'll delete a gauge. Good. So okay. He can cleanse that off. We have ultimate. I mean he can just drain me with Easton. I forgot about that. But it's fun. Hmm. Yeah, I see, like, he's trying to rush ult. Oh, he's... Okay. Please give me another Pulverize card. Nice. This is really good, by the way. This means I can train him. If I did not have this, I think I would lose. So I'll do this. I'll drain him of his ult. And I'll merge this, just like so I get more card draw. So you see there... Uh, he's just gonna keep trying to get ultimate, but I can just keep stopping him over and over again, as long as I get pulverized, that is. So as long as he doesn't have a drain here, I can ult of go there. And have, I have another pulverized card. This is fantastic, dude. This actually countering Bond quite nicely. Is Does he have another drain? Uh, or is that a cleanse? I don't know. But actually, yeah, this is perfect. This is a good match. We're literally destroying bond team in the regard that he can't ult rush which, he, which he's trying to do and he's not he hasn't even touched my merlin and amelia uh i think the entire game let's see go their passive is currently at 10 so that's amazing increase of 20 percent to our attack rate stats but i'll do this uh i'll do this and then just in case so you can't cleanse it off or you can't drain me, I'd say. I'll freeze you. And that's game. So, unless he merges ultimate, actually. Thank you. Alright, so yeah. We'll do that. Take away his ults with the Pulverize. Disable. And then freeze the Easton. And that's GG. Nothing you can do. We have double ult as well. Can I get some Gothar cards? That's unfortunate. Alright, so yeah. We win. Honestly, nothing this guy can do. Completely... Took apart a Bond team, trying to ult rush with Red Easton because of the cleanse. And yeah, Gother, honestly, he won us that match, not gonna lie. And is he gonna finish off immediately here? Is he immune right now? If not, he gets frozen. He gets frozen. Alright. Um, alright. So I guess I'll ult with Amelia first. No, dude, can you not leave? Alright, that's fine. We we absolutely destroyed him. Unfortunately, he didn't let me ult, but that's fine. I'll be back with the next match. Alright, looks like we have the third match, I'm pretty sure. I think so. And who are we going to face? Probably a Margaret team. Alright, nice. We have the next match. Margaret Gluider team. Hate to see it. We barely go first by 3k. But this should be an interesting match. Um, Let's see. Hopefully, I can ult. I don't think I've ulted yet, right? It's been a while since the second match. But here, we'll do the same exact play against uh, this team or any team in general. Infect them, dissolve them, and then turn off their uh, buff card or buff skills. So that way he can buff with Margaret and also he can't uh, use a taunt with Gruel. And hopefully I can keep getting these. So I can keep turning. Oh, also, I think we turn off Gauter's rank up. I think that's a buff card as well. So yeah, this is perfect. We hit him with the triple whammy. Ooh, I'll probably freeze Margaret, not gonna lie. 
Um, I think so. Is he gonna pumpkin bomb me? Please tell me he doesn't know what go there does. There's no way. Your your cards are blacked out or grayed out. Okay, he's going for the tax. Resolve, that's fine. And attack me up. Perfect, I don't care. Okay. I just... I'm gonna save the freeze. Because I know I can... I know he's probably gonna taunt next turn. So I'll just do this. Yeah, I'll merge. The stun card, stun the Margaret. How many cards? Please tell me more than one. Two. And then next turn I have two freezes. So as long as he does... Ooh, this is really good. I have a level 2 um, Jack Light card. It's fantastic. Um, Probably going to taunt himself, but I can easily just take that off. And he's trying to rush Ultra Thescanor, maybe? But that's not going to do anything. Yeah, taunt himself. Attack into my Amelia. We stop. Okay. Honestly, what's my go with their passive at? Four. Increase of 8% to our attacker at stats. I think Merlin has enough damage here. Take our Droll, and even if it's not, we will hit you with a level 2 Jack Light. Disables ultimate moves and buff skills of all enemies, and disable skills which are ranked to or higher. Alright. Come on, Merlin. Please. Surely. Yeah, he's gone. Beautiful. Nice. No more taunts or petrifies for you, and then turn off your uh, buff cards. Yep. Disable three cards in the hand. That's fantastic. And does he have any cards of Veskinar that he can use? Probably. But if he does that, I'll probably just go for, um, Margaret. He's trying to rush ult. Um... Honestly, I think I'll go for Gother. I think I have enough damage to go for Gother. He'll probably go for Amelia. Yeah, that's fine. I don't need her. You even take her out. You oh you do. That's fine. Do I risk it and go for go out there? I'm risking it, dude. We have seven stacks. So be eight, nine, ten, we'll have four. So yeah, I want Mar I want my Merlin to do the most damage. So I'll do this, I'll do this, and then I'll do this. If I can get Gother gone, then uh, we're basically good. Oh my, he's easily gone. Look at the damage, dude. Oh, go for uh, go for Margaret, go for Margaret, go for Margaret. No! That's fine. My Merlin is max HP, so even if he were to ult my uh, Merlin, he'd only take away at maximum 80%. So he'd have to finish me off with another Eskender card or Margaret card. Uh, but yeah, we're good. Man, if I would have, or the AI would have chosen the Margaret, we probably would have won tapped her. He's going for. Do we tank this? There's no way, dude, right? Oh, is he 6 6? He's, he wasn't, but that was enough damage, anyways. That's fine. Um. If I do this, though, I can get. Uh, double ult, and that's GG. Unfortunately, we do lose go through passive, so we're not going to be hitting as hard, because we lost 20% increase to our attack rate stats. But we turned off, or disabled his Margaret, three cards, and next turn, I believe, his buff runs out, and we have double ults. Yeah, that's a wrap. There's no chance. Right, yeah, but we win. Go through actually tanked. Pretty decently. He took like 150,000 plus damage. Uh, but I guess I'll try and finish off with Merlin. Because she is literally full HP. So you know what that means. Increase to the max of her attack rate stats. Yep, like that. There we go. Very nice matches though. This is the third one I'm pretty sure. And I'll, I think I'll do one more. So I'll be back once we have the next player. Match 4. Looks like we have the last opponent here. Match four, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully we can go out with a bang. Good one. Real player though, because uh, I'm still talking. And we still haven't gotten into the match. And yeah. I mean, honestly, probably a marker team. I have to guess. Or full goddess. I kind of right. Now we actually go second. Hold on. Uh, not by much. Like a thousand. 
But I think we should be fine. He's not using Sario, which is honestly the favorite for this team. Um, but is he gonna... Oh, he's going all out on who? Did you attack twice into my Amelia? You're dead. You just froze yourself. And then a shield? Shield's not gonna work. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. Um... I'm gonna attack his Escanor anyways. I know he's frozen, but I don't really care. I'll do this play. This is the best play that seems to work against these teams, full goddess. Yeah, he had no cards also, by the way. I'm dumb, because they weren't frozen. If they were grayed out, then that means he would have Escanor cards. But nice, we turn off three sk uh, skills. I'm assuming one is a uh, buff card, one's another shield, and maybe a... Uh... Does he have double shield or something? But that's fine. He can't rush ult with Eskinar because he has no cards, and also he's dissolved. But I will... Hmm. I need to start working on Margaret. Yeah, she's the annoying one because of her passive. Unless... He's trying to rush ult with Flizz? Yeah, he is. Alright. What I will do then is... Hmm. I'll do this. I'll attack into you. And then I'll merge the stun card. So make it so you can't buff yourself. Turn off three cards again. Attack into Margaret. Pretty good damage. And then hopefully I can get another um, Jack Light card. And then that'll be really good. I have double freeze though. I can freeze his Margaret and his Liz. Which I probably will do, and then as long as he doesn't drain me next turn, that should be a match. Hmm. Attack it with his, uh... Attack into my melee, yeah. I figured. Um... Hmm. There's no point in me dissolving, because even if I did... I would... I guess old Tarmio doesn't get old. I'll do this. Dissolve him. Freeze Margaret and then freeze Liz. Two cards. Three cards. My Amelia's probably gone though. Not gonna lie. Which is, which is unfortunate. Ooh. I could double stun though. I can literally stun him again. Does he not have a? Please tell me you don't have a drain. Please tell me that's a damage reduction. Ah oh, man. Does he have another one? Ah, oh, Amelia's gone. Ah, uh, that's fine. He can get ult though, now yeah, because he gets dissolved. Um. I'll do this. Stun. Stun. We're just literally building up Gother passive as the turns go by, which is fine. I'll take it. And yeah, they're gone next turn. Oh my. The, are all of his cards gone? Just one is left. Okay. Hey, right, we're good. I mean, I don't even think he has max Margaret passive, so that's really helping me out. Here though, I can easily take off Res without a problem. Yeah, see, look, he's trying to go for Ram, but there's no way. She's too tanky because of her own passive and then also go there, which I think it might be at max, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's max. Look at that, increase of 20% and then also 10% increase to our max HP. So, no, he left. Man, why do they always leave? Probably because I'm taking my sweet time, but I'm showing you guys the... Well, we win. That's, that's it. Not that long. Uh, a bit shorter than usual. All real players, and we won every single one. And every time, I think, they left before we could actually close out the match. I think only once, one game, we played the thing out and saw, like, win screens. Or maybe twice. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Festival Goat 3 is actually really good. Especially on this team, man. If you have it, I suggest you run it. Fantastic. Uh, and he's pretty good kit overall. Especially with Lolly Merlin, dude. That combo, just the two of them. Merlin hits, like, an absolute truck. I mean, she hit so hard before, but now she hits even better better which is honestly crazy to think about but yeah if you're new make sure to sub we're on the road to 3k also leave a like on the video if you did enjoy let's see if we can try and hit 100 likes i'd really appreciate it and comment down below what you think about this team 
Did you pull for Gilder? Let me know. If you haven't done so already, check out my summons as well. Literally got shafted on stream. Should be illegal what happened to me, but it is what it is. Uh, that's going to do it for me, though, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.